G'day, today we're doing a basic hover test, so I'm keen to know how long this thing's going to hover for. eCalc suggests just over 11 minutes, so uh, we're about to find out. Welcome to Tarani's throttle warning. Now I've got a 3,300 milliampere uh, battery on this thing. Put the GPS antenna in position. We'll hook up the FR Sky voltage telemetry module. We'll just wait for all the GPS satellites to be uh, acquired. I'm using the FR Sky X8R SBUS receiver. It's pretty cool. There's just one wire between it and the uh, Wukong main controller. Uh, I've got diversity, 90 degree uh, diversity in the aerials. One is just naturally hanging, that becomes vertically polarised. And this one just happens to sit in the frame, or vel it's velcroed to the frame here for horizontal polarisation. Fail safe off. GPS hold lock on. Start the stopwatch now. Just to explain the system here, the flight controller is a Wukong M. I'm using Tiger Motor Navigator Series motors, so 780 kV, and it's using 12 inch um, propellers. These are the Gemfan uh, carbon fibre T style propellers. They're the uh, T-motor knockoffs. They've got a 5.5 pitch. Uh, E-calc suggests that we're going to get a little bit more thrust, or rather, less thrust is required to uh, maintain hover. So I'm really happy how this build's turned out. You can model something like this online using E-calc. All the weights of all the individual items were put into a spreadsheet, so I knew um, pretty much what I was getting weight-wise. Although I did have about a 100 gram discrepancy, I, I think that's because the manufacturers don't include the weights of the, the, the cables hanging off the items, like um, the, the Tiger Motor motors were, you know, they had a, a spec of 80 grams, but the, with the motor leads coming out, they were closer to 100 grams, so they were trimmed back a little bit. Saved about 10 grams of motor there, so I think the all up weight of a, a motor is about 90 grams. Wind's starting to get up at the moment. The uh, it's holding position quite well. Now it is treed over that side. Um, I know it's rather clear horizon looking back this way, but there are some trees here. But it's just rock solid. I'm also running the gains at the default 100%, like I haven't tweaked the gains at all. It doesn't, it doesn't toilet bowl, it just pretty much hangs in there. Now I'm running in GPS mode. One thing I like about the Tyrannus system is I can monitor the, along with the um, FR Sky FLV SS telemetry module, is that I can monitor the LiPo battery volts right here on the Tyrannus's uh, screen. It's currently at 11.6 volts. I'm using the uh, Aimdroix extended aluminium arms with uh, F450 boards. So whilst the uh, central boards are from a 450, these extended arms actually make it a 550 motor to motor. I'm using the common landing legs. They weigh about 70 grams. They're actually surprisingly heavy for uh, just plastic. I might actually get rid of the folding GPS mount. That weighs um, uh, 14 grams, it's relatively heavy. I think the stock DJI uh, GPS mount um, was something like 4 grams or something, it was con considerably lighter. I'm running a 3300 milliampere battery or a 3.3 ampere hour battery, it's 3S this system. I am uh, built this system together with a strict weight in mind, that is 2, two kilos. Now at the moment we're running just over 1400 grams as is. So uh, if I can trim a little bit here and there, I'm going to have about 600 grams for a, uh, a payload to pay with. This is actually the first time I've uh, 
Had these gem fan, just approaching seven minutes now. This is the first time I've actually flown the thing with the gem fan propellers. Up until recently I've had the Tiger motor propellers fitted, which is not a good idea to learn and practice on because they're 65 bucks a pair. So you're looking at $130 for uh, a set of four. So you don't want to be crashing the bastard with that kind of money tied up in props. Just approaching eight minutes. Hickalc suggested uh, 11, I think it was 11.1 .1 minutes. So if I get something like that, I'll be happy. Voltage, LiPo voltage is re being reported as 11.1 .1 volts and I'm seeing the LED flash, the first stage protection of the Wukong was set at 11.1, .1. LEDs flashing, indicating that that's been reached. The second stage protection of, um, I think I set to 10 point, um, 10 point 8 maybe. And that's where the quad will do an auto land. It'll just uh, gracefully come down. Not real exciting looking at this, just hovering there, but um, it's always good to, to know uh, what your limits are. You need to establish a few things. It's nice to know what, um, what time I can expect before I actually go flying. I did actually modify this GPS, a fold over GPS mount. You probably saw that in a previous video. Uh, what happened is even though you um, uh, tightened down the knurled knob, it, uh, the, the actual antenna mast was uh, still rather loose. So I found just by grinding a bit off um, that knurled knob, it would actually lock it in as you tightened it down. And uh, one thing we don't want is vibration, particularly on the um, GPS compass module up the top there. Just got 11 and a half minutes, so we've exceeded the eCalc uh, suggested hover time. Quite happy about that. This is only the uh, the fourth time I've had the thing up actually. So the LiPo batteries are reasonably fresh. I actually bought two brands of LiPo batteries, the uh, Turnergy and the Zippy. It's pretty hard to find decent reviews on these batteries. You, you will always get your, your fan clubs for one particular brand or the other. So instead of buying two of the one brand, I thought I'd try one of each. Okay, we've just started, we've just seen the red LED and it's come down for an auto land. Okay, so let's shut it down. I'm quite happy about that, that exceeded the eCalc um, suggestion. And the, uh, these gem fan propellers obviously work. So, actually got to try two different things today. Okay, well, that was the Turnergy battery. I'll actually repeat this hover test, but using the uh, yellow uh, Zippy battery. It'd be interesting just to do a comparison.